we introduce RadarNet, an efficient swipe recognition technique using a miniaturized radar sensor called Soli. Our novel algorithm recognizes swipe gestures using unsegmented time series radar signals with minimal computational resources. The Soli radar system was integrated into the top bezel of a mobile phone, demonstrating its small footprint is fit for consumer products. RadarNet, our convolutional neural network, is designed to detect gestures with radar signals. The RadarNet consists of a signal processing module, a frame model, a temporal model, and a gesture debouncer. The algorithm outputs three predictions, portrait prediction, landscape prediction, and omni-swipe prediction. These predictions detect left-right swipes, up-down swipe, and omni-swipe, which is a swipe in any direction. The radar signal processing applies a series of FFTs to raw radar samples, calculating a range Doppler complex map. RadarNet uses 12 frames of a range Doppler complex from three receiver channels shown here as an input. The input is processed by the frame model first. The frame model has convolution, pooling, and ReLU layers utilizing residual blocks and bottleneck blocks. Through the model, the input is summarized into a one-dimensional vector with 32 values. The temporal model concatenates the summary from the current frame with the summaries from the last 11 frames and passes them to an LSTM layer. The output from the LSTM layer is then passed to three dense layers with softmax, which output the three sets of class probabilities. RadarNet outputs class probabilities for a given segment of 12 frames. However, in practice, an algorithm must recognize gestures from a continuous data stream. To realize this, we added a gesture debouncer on top of the RadarNet. The gesture debouncer generates a gesture detection event when the gesture probability becomes higher than a predefined detection threshold. Then it suppresses the gesture detection events until the probability becomes lower than the debounce threshold and the debounce timer expires to avoid generating multiple gesture detection events for one gesture. We collected a large scale dataset in our organization to train and test RadarNet. The dataset has 558,000 gestures from 7,647 participants at nine different Google offices, as well as 285 hours of negative recordings where people performed motions similar to gestures in many different contexts. We split the recordings into training, development, and test sets. The data split into these sets was done on a user basis, meaning data from the same participant was not split into multiple data sets. We evaluated the performance of RadarNet in many aspects, including computational efficiency, segmented classification, and unsegmented detection. We assessed the computational efficiency of the RadarNet based on its model size and inference time. The model sizes were measured using file sizes of the model in the TF Lite format. The inference times were measured using a TF Lite profiler. We used two models as baselines. The first was an end-to-end -end model, is a model that recognizes gestures with the Soli sensor. The second was MobileNet, a general image recognition model designed for mobile devices. The table shows that RadarNet is significantly more efficient than the baselines. In the segmentation classification task, recordings in the test set were segmented into samples with ground truth labels, similar to the training process. We evaluated the performance of algorithms based on how well the model could predict the ground truth labels. The accuracy values are higher than 0.99, showing that RadarNet has high performance in the segmented classification task. Furthermore, we evaluated RadarNet in an unsegmented detection task. In this task, recordings in the test set were used without segmentation. The model made predictions for every frame using the continuous data as input. The graph shows that the detection rates are higher than 0.9 while false positives per hour values are lower than one, indicating robust gesture detections in the practical setting. In summary, RadarNet recognizes swipes using privacy-preserving radar signals. Our experimental results demonstrated that RadarNet is efficient enough to be continuously executed on devices with limited computational resources, while also providing reliable gesture recognition performance with practical real-world contexts. The swipe gestures recognized by our system opens up new opportunities for further research and product integration using radar-based sensing in the context of ambient computing.